Oh, I got the mango habanero. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> wow, that's, that's pretty mad. Well, guys, what a day, all right? It's Saturday. It's a fucking snowy day in Wisconsin. So I head up to Milwaukee. I decided to try Mad Chicken. It's a new restaurant that's already been opening up. I think they have four locations in Wisconsin and actually one in California. The one I went to is on the North and Prospect, I believe. Yeah, I was very excited. Uh, I saw some things posted online that looked delicious and I was like, shit, I gotta try it. So I hopped in the car. I'm actually reviewing in a house today. I've upgraded from my car, so it's a big day. Mad Chicken is a great atmosphere. And when I went up there, there were some teenagers working at the counter, man. And like, they asked if I wanted any sauce with my chicken sandwich I ordered. And I was like, yeah, man. And I had like fucking like 20 different sauces to choose from. I got some garlic parmesan. But anyway, their menu was huge. I specialized in all chicken stuff. But look at all that. And some stuff on the back. Here are pretty much all their chicken sandwiches. And I got the one at the very top. I decided to go big or go home. The Chicken Madness. It's a $10 price tag. I believe $13 if you want the combo. I didn't get the combo. I just got some water, which they gave me this big cup for free. I always like that. And my friends Tristan and Anthony over here. One got the Mad Hoagie. Mad Fire. And the Mad Fire. The Chicken Madness is a half pound of chicken tenders, lettuce, tomato, coleslaw, pickles, cheddar, and mad sauce. So this is unlike any chicken sandwich I've done so far. I've, I've sticked to like value chicken sandwiches. But this time I spent $10 on this. That's like... 10 McChickens. It looks pretty goddamn big here. And here's my garlic parmesan. I did get this about 20 minutes ago. I'm hoping it's still fresh. Oh, shit. They use tenders, much like what we saw at A&W. Enough of this pocket, more of this chewing. Hmm. It's good. I don't know about yours is, but the tenders seemed a little bit old. Not old, but the, maybe the tenders have been sitting out for a little bit. They're not as fresh as they maybe could be. With that being said, it has a nice warm bottom, soft bun. There's a sweet sauce to it and I like it. It's different. There's a lot of shit on here, so I like it so far. And I think this, this one's partly on me because I, I had it for about 20 minutes before I ate it. So it kind of got a bit cold. So I think if you ordered it fresh, it would be more tasty if you ate it right at the store, which I think would be a good idea if you weren't filming a review like you're myself. So all together, you know, like this is a, a great sandwich and I think it's worth at least trying. I give this one, uh, I'm gonna say eight to maybe eight and a half out of 10. I'll reevaluate it, but uh, very, very happy. And I'll definitely be back again to try their other sandwiches. I'm gonna ask my boys how they enjoyed their sandwiches as well. Tristan, what do you think of yours? What'd you get? I got the, the mad hoagie. It has chicken, tomato, some sort of sauces. Yeah, it was good. What'd you think, Anthony, of yours? I got the mad fire. It was good. Good sauce? Yeah. I think one of our underlying themes here is that they have a great sauce arrangement. I was very happy. Look at all those fucking sauce. And I like that they gave me a chance to just ask for some of them. As for the sandwich, I'm, I'm happy. It just has a lot of choices here uh, at Mad Chicken. I'll be back again. I want them chicken and waffles. Yeah, chicken, chicken, they have chicken and waffles. I'm excited. But I'm not a chicken and waffle reviewing station, so let's, uh. let's keep that to my new chicken and waffle review station.